all right so here's my update so this was week 27 out of 72 and you know it's been how many weeks now like the past three weeks that I keep saying like I'm gonna get back on track I'm gonna get back on track and it still didn't happen this week and to be honest this week was probably the worst week so far of kind of falling off um just because like I didn't fall off like just in like my workouts it was just kind of like everything I have some other videos where I've been posting about like trying to build habits and you know get my routine to be really consistent so you know that can drive me to finish my dissertation and this was the worst week that I fell off of that in a really long time like I don't even think I've been tracking for several days at this point um yeah what day yeah like almost the whole week I didn't even track um so normally I'll try to wake up I have in my tracker um to wake up by 4 a.m and get out of bed you know at least by 5 a.m and get to the gym by six. Um, and for like the past several months, I've been fairly consistent with that. Um, and then working out and then I'll walk for an hour on the treadmill after my workout. And then I will bring some like journal articles or books or something to read. And I, you know, have this thing like read on the treadmill for at least 30 minutes. Um, this is the first week in a long time that I haven't I haven't done that. Um, I did still go to the gym. I did get all of my workouts in this week, but I just, I didn't even really sleep in. Like I was getting up, you know, by five on most days. Um, some days I got up at 3.45 or by four, um, but I just didn't get out of bed. I was just very distracted by social media this week for some reason. And that happens sometimes, like I'm not consistently distracted by social media, but there are definitely like some days that I'm just like, my brain just doesn't want to, to think or concentrate. And so I just find myself like scrolling or getting really interested in like some of the things that are on social media. And so that kind of happened this week. And so I would just lay in bed in the morning and just not get up. And then my roommate would wake up and then by that time it's like seven o'clock, you know, or I'd get around and I would just do things around the house instead of uh, go to the gym. And what happened a lot this week is my roommate would get up before, normally I leave for the gym before he wakes up. Um, and, but I haven't been. And then he gets up and then he's like, hey, do you wanna go to the gym together? And so we were going to, normally I go to any time myself and we've been going to planet he has been wanting to come with me to any time because it's way closer than planet um but he stopped by there and looked into getting a contract i have another video about you know my thoughts on any time versus planet a little bit and um I guess just to sum it up, if you're close to a Planet Fitness, I would definitely do Planet Fitness over in any time, but any time seems to corner the markets in those places where there's not a gym or a commercial gym or a gym in the towns. And so it usually is closer and more convenient for most people and it's open 24 seven, you can go in whenever you want. So I say those that would be the pros to it and there's not as many people usually that go, but it's way more expensive and anyway that you can watch that other video if you want to hear my opinions about it but he got frustrated because he likes to pay month to month when he goes to gyms because he switches gyms around a lot he keeps his planet um, membership because it's so cheap and if we want to go together he gets the in on his guest pass um, but other gyms he likes to do just a month to month instead of signing a contract and he asked them at any time if he could do that and they were like no I think that they said like the shortest contract he could do was a I think it was a two-year contract or maybe it was one but he didn't want to sign up for a full one-year contract and 
they didn't even give him an option to he's like i will pay more to do a month to month and they wouldn't even give him an option to do that and so he was just like no i don't like gems that you know make you sign a contract and i get it because i did get kind of roped into a bad contract with them but anyway that's why we even go into planet and it does take more time out of the day and i get my day started <laughs> later and you know I didn't like a couple of days that we went I'm like I don't want to take up too much of your time so I didn't walk so I did do the workouts but there is a few days that I didn't do the walking or we like to go walk by this lake so instead of walking on the treadmill we would go do a couple laps around this lake to get my steps in so I think I did get my steps in on most of the days um, but I didn't get my reading in because I wasn't on the treadmill where I could have my reading anyway this is getting off track the whole week was off in a multitude of ways and I just wasn't feeling the foods that I've been that for some reason like there was like that month I think it was like six weeks that I was totally fine with just eating the meals that I had planned eating the same thing every day it was really working for me and I I think part of it is because like one of the things that I eat is a chili and it's been so hot outside I think like I'm just not craving those sorts of things right now and I'm craving just more like salads and fruit and not a lot of protein and I don't I haven't been wanting the protein shakes and I'm just feeling this need to want to just eat I want to go I, I really want to get back on my purple carrot meals like I've been feeling this urge to be like I want to cook and I want to eat these like healthy whole plant-based foods or whatever again and unfortunately there's no restaurants in town that really sell like healthy foods <laughs> so I don't know I'm just kind of struggling with that so basically I haven't been feeling like eating my meals that I have planned so I've just been snacking on whatever I could find in the house and there was one day that I just ate like so much food just I just snacked on like everything I could find I think it was like over 4,000 calories so if I don't have a plan and I don't have a meal out there like it's just and there was one day that I ate way under so it was just kind of like I don't know I don't know what I'm going to do for next week I do need to switch some things up though for sure I need to think about that tonight but I have to get back on top of things because I'm about to have to go on my trip and I need to get my data planned um the plan is to travel across the country and visit some wastewater treatment plants and try to interview some wastewater treatment managers so I've got to get that all lined out um and then figure out what how I'm gonna work all this in. I need to get something figured out and I do like while I'm on that trip I do need to stay on it for two reasons for myself and also my roommate is gonna come with me because because he's really nice <laughs> and um, he doesn't feel comfortable like we've been watching all these videos and I don't know maybe it's just maybe I shouldn't just watch all this stuff and get scared but there's all these videos about like women getting like followed and you know bothered in places and so I don't really feel comfortable like traveling but I used to travel by myself all the time and I used to couch surf by myself I like traveled through Europe and you know like just met random people and stayed with random people um but I don't know as I've gotten older I feel like maybe I did some risky things when I was little just trusting you know strangers and traveling by myself so um he's gonna come with me but he's getting nervous because he's like okay like I think the trip is gonna be good but he wants to keep up his his workouts so I'm like okay we're gonna go visit some well I visit my wastewater treatment plants He's gonna go visit some new gyms and check them out. And so I'm like, okay, we're gonna stay on track. I'm still gonna do my workout. So every town that we go to, we'll make sure, you know, there's a gym that we can go to. 
and he's also started taking um, some new supplements and he's actually well this isn't about him but he's on this supplement routine that he's trying to stay on like a routine and he's like I just want to make sure so I feel like I have to have my routine good and since he's helping me out by doing this I want to make sure that he can stay on his routine too so I've got probably like three weeks we're planning to leave like maybe do most of our traveling throughout the first part of August so maybe two or three weeks in August so the rest of this month I've got to get back on track but with that being said um what was I gonna say with that being said, even though my diet was garbage and I don't really feel like I was working out, I wasn't getting, it, it was just, I still feel like I got a pretty good workout and I don't feel like I've lost anything. Like I do, I still feel pretty toned or whatever. So I don't know. I didn't want to take my measurements today, but Now that I'm doing this, I might as well. So I'll run through the apps real quick and show you how horrible I did. This is the first time in a long time that I didn't even track my meals all week. Like I think I stopped after Wednesday or something just because I was eating so many snacks. It was getting too much to like keep up with. And sometimes I will like not track one day, but then I can think back about what I ate the day before, but it was just like, too much and I didn't feel like thinking about it also I had a little bit of a cold like me and my roommate both got a little bit of a cold I guess from like going and visiting people um last weekend for the 4th of July so I'm just gonna blame it on that but I was sick even though I wasn't really very sick but anyway I'll run through my apps real quick just to keep some kind of I don't know. Anyway, I'll run through the apps and I'll do my measurements. All right, so here's the Fitbit. So yeah, my weight did go up this week. So we started out last Sunday at 135 and then it went up to 140.3 on Friday, 139 on Saturday. Now it's back up to 140. So I have been eating a lot, but I don't feel, you know, I say some weeks I feel thinner or I feel chubbier, even though I weigh more this week, I don't feel chubby at all. So I don't know. That's just how I'm feeling right now. But yeah, my weight's creeping back up, but I'm fine as long as it's really, I mean, honestly, in terms of how I feel, I don't start feeling bad just physically, when I get over 150, I start to feel, like, just not as good physically, so, I mean, 140 is fine, like, I'm fine with that, but, anyway, all right, here we are in my fitness pal, and, yeah, I did track, it looks like, through Wednesday, and you can see Wednesday was pretty crazy, and even though I didn't track on Thursday, Friday, or Saturday, I'm pretty sure both of all three of those days were pretty crazy too. Um, so yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Really, I wasn't paying attention to any macros. Yeah, you can see the protein was pretty low and the carbs were pretty high. So. That's all I want to say about that. We'll go to the measurements. Okay, so still looking pretty good in my yoga pants. Like, I, even though I gained weight this week, like, I don't feel like my measurements would have changed that much, but I guess we'll just see. I have bug bites all over me too. The mosquitoes are pretty bad right now. My roommate feel, says he feels like I'm looking more athletic, <laughs> but I don't really see it. Like I feel like I look about the same, but he says that I've been looking more athletic the past few weeks. 
I don't really feel like I've made much visible progress over the past few weeks, but I don't know. So we will start with this. Last week it was 30 and a quarter. Oh my gosh. This week. Oh, it's the same. The top was 33 and three quarters. And I normally gain and lose there first. So we'll see. This has gone up. Yes, now it's 34 and a quarter. I swear that is where like the majority of my gains and losses happen every time that happens. So like my stomach feels not very big, but it's kind of looking bigger this week, I think. 30 and three quarters. So yeah, my waist went up by about half an inch. So I guess I gain and lose there a lot too. My hips normally stay about the same. No. much yeah yeah it's about the same as last time and then my thighs are always about the same around 21 to 22 inches but I do work my legs out pretty hard so I feel like at some point they're gonna start getting bigger I think I'm not good at measuring this week. Or maybe they did get bigger. No. So, somewhere between 21 and a quarter and 21 and a half. Last week it was 21. I'll just put 21 and a half. And then my average weekly weight was 138 up a pound from last week so yeah i guess i'll just see how this week goes i just need to i think my problem has been that i just haven't been starting out my day right so i do need to like force myself to get up out of bed um i'm starting this new thing let me show you the book Somebody was talking about this book on TikTok and I don't know, I feel like I need to wait until after I'm done with my traveling to really start this because it's like a 12 week thing, but I think there's a part of it that I'm going to start, which is kind of like this daily journaling thing. They call it like morning pages. And so you just like, as soon as you wake up in the morning, you just kind of brain dump and just write three pages of whatever is on your mind. And so... I think I'm going to start that and I'm hoping that that will give be the motivation to be like, hey, you need to do your journal pages, get up out of bed because I feel like I need some motivation since work and school has slowed down for me. I need something to like be like, get up out of bed. So I'm hoping. So I think if I can get out of bed on time, get to the gym early, get back on track, um, that the rest of it will kind of fall into place. So, <laughs> uh, wish me luck this week because I do. I need I need to get back on it. So, we'll see how the rest, how this week goes, and the rest of the month, and then how our trip goes. <laughs>